hello and welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna make this anime stylized air ball effect in blender so let's get started select the cube go to modifiers tab and add a subdivision surface modifier increase the levels to 3 go to the shading tab and select the principal bsdf and press x to delete it we're gonna add an emission node so press shift a to add or you can use the add button over here go to the shader and choose the emission add another shader and this time a transparent bsdf now press shift a and add a mix shader connect these two nodes with the shader input so the mix node of the mix shader now press shift a and again and go to the texture and add a musgrave texture enable node wrangler add-on by going to the edit preferences and then type node click on the node wrangler and save preferences select the musgrave texture press ctrl t and connect the object to the to the vector input of the mapping node connect the musgrave texture to the factor input of the mix shader in the mapping node go to the scale information change the x value to 0.5 and the y value to 10 now we need to rotate the mesh by 90 degrees on the x coordinate I'm gonna lower the scale value of the musgrave texture to about 1 or 2. Now add a color ramp and place it in front of the musgrave texture. Sliders of the color ramp can tweak the shape of black and white lines. In the musgrave texture I'm gonna raise the details to 15. This isn't gonna show much effect because we have the constant mode on the color ramp. Now choose a color to the emission node. Press N or go to the material preview tab and change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend and shadows mode to alpha hashed. Now we can see the effect showing up. To animate the effect we need a value node. Press shift A and add a value node and connect it to the location input of the mapping node. Change the strength value of emission to 5 or a higher number and turn on bloom. And now we can apply the subsurface modifier by going to the modifiers tab and apply by clicking on this arrow. In edit mode select this part and press shift D to duplicate and then S to scale it up and P and then by selection to separate this part from the wall. I'm gonna press ctrl A and then apply the scale. Now you can select this part separately in object mode. Even though the results are looking pretty decent but I'm gonna add another node here. Duplicate the mix shader and place it between the first mix shader and the material output. Add a glossy BSDF and connect it to the shader input. You can use the effect without the glossy BSDF. Now press shift A and search for Fresnel and then connect it to the factor input. If your version of Blender doesn't have Fresnel node then search for layer weight and choose the Fresnel output. In the render mode you can see this is the pretty much the effect we have created. Shift A go to empty and then select a plane axis and move it to the side. You can choose any other type of empty here. Now select all the mesh objects and press ctrl J to join. You need to have an active object for joining. Select the joined object and go to the constraint tab and add a copy scale constraint. Take the picking cursor from here and select the empty. With this constraint as you can see the objects are gonna copy the scale of the empty. We can add keyframes to the empty to, for the scale animation of the air ball and we can add keyframes to the value node to animate or simulate the air effect. You can change the strength of the effect by changing the scale value of the musgrave texture. You can also slow down or speed up the effect by inputting a higher by keyframing a higher or lower number on the value node. Also I added some key poses to the model and a 360 camera movement. In the last animation, I have used a stylized model of Ang from Avatar The Last Airbender. 